Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to create a guitar collage inspired by Pablo Picasso. So when you create a collage, you want to overlap paper or other objects. So what I've done is I've just taken some clippings from my um, mail that I get, you know, the different food advertisements, things like that. I've also found, you know, just some paper in my house, some colored line paper, and I'm gonna glue that onto my white piece of paper. And I do want to overlap some areas. So I have all this pre-cut just to save some time. But again, I got it from just my uh, regular mail. A lot of times we get different advertisements for like Pizza Hut, things like that. So I just used those and cut them up to make some clippings. And this is adding some different shapes and texture and designs. I also used some uh, pieces from an old card. So ideally you do want some glue for this, but if you don't have glue at home, you can just lay your paper down and piece it together kind of like a puzzle and then take a picture of it. So I'm working quickly just because I don't want to make this video too, too long. And I'm adding just the bits of paper across my other paper to create this collage of clippings. So you, you would want to cover your whole paper using different scraps. Uh, you could even use some cardboard pieces. Uh, I found um, paper bags, use some of that. You could add that into your background. So whatever kind of paper materials you have on hand, if you have construction paper, ribbon, anything, fabric, it's your collage, so really it's up to you how you want to make it. So I've already constructed my guitar just to save some time. It does take uh, a little bit of time to construct just because you wanna let the glue dry, but I will show you how I assembled it. So to start, I drew two circles. One's a little smaller, and then I connected those circles, and I used that as a shape for my guitar body and cut that out. Then I used a rectangle for the neck of the guitar, and then I used some cardboard and cut that out. This is just for a fun little design. And I also added some of the uh, cardboard pieces to separate the frets. And what I did was I just took some string that I had in the house. You could use maybe floss, um, anything really, if you have sewing string, uh, thread, things like that. And I glued that down to my brown paper and then put a piece of cardboard over top. Did the same thing up at the top to create my guitar. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to my paper. And you do want to be careful because if your paper is not dry and depending on what kind of glue you have, this could pull up the paper. So just be gentle when you're gluing it. You can always lift pieces of your guitar, add some more glue and then push it down. Same thing up here, wherever it's a little loose. And so really that's all I need to do to create my Picasso collage, um, you know, guitar collage inspired by Picasso. Of course, if I didn't have these kind of materials, I could always draw the collage. So I'm gonna show you another way. So this was creating the guitar using collage materials. But if you were to draw your guitar, same thing, so maybe start with a pencil first to kind of sketch out 
those two circles and connect them. So then I'm gonna come in with my marker. I'll add the neck. top of the guitar. I can trace objects too. So if you have like circular objects, you can trace those to create your guitar. And this doesn't have to be accurate. Uh, we know that Picasso did a lot of abstract uh, pieces when creating art. So really we just wanna create this idea or illusion that we have a guitar. So you could cut up your background using different lines. And then in between those lines, you could add different patterns and designs to create your collage. So it's not a true collage in the sense of cutting and pasting and gluing things together, but it's still a collage in the sense that you have all these designs and patterns mixed together. So we're going to count it as a collage. So using different colors, you can create stripes, polka dots, swirls. And then of course you could always color in your guitar. So I might use some crayon. You could mix mediums together. So using crayon and marker, you could use paint. It's really up to you how you want to create your guitar collage. And it doesn't even have to be a guitar. If your favorite instrument is a violin or a flute, clarinet, there's lots of different instruments. Okay, and so I just wanna show you how this can look. not the fanciest guitar and it doesn't have to be. So you can go in and add some of the frets to your guitar. You can continue to draw your strings up. Guitars do have um, six strings typically, but I did uh, miss those in here. So I only have four and that's okay because again, it's abstract. So you can make it your own unique design. You can even add designs to your guitar. So really make it yours. And then you can, keep, of course, keep designing your background to create different patterns and make your guitar stand out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching those two versions. So of course, you have the drawing version uh, where you draw your guitar, you break up your background using different lines and add all the different designs and patterns. And then you have your constructed version where you use paper, 
cardboard. Uh, again, I used uh, brown paper bags, like what you get at the grocery store. Uh, just some string, things like that. Clippings from advertisements, magazines. And then you can create a collage and have your guitar be a little bit more three-dimensional and abstract that way. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye.